What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Drop of the Game here. Welcome to you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Log. Today, we actually have a little bit of a rough episode on our hands, as today we have to go against Nanu because he's like gonna be a Nani of a team. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to a quick team recap because we have a new member to the squad and actually a really good member. Um, that I think I'm gonna like a lot. We got Brisk with the base boost ability with Lava Plume, Flamethrower, Fusion Flare, and Tatter, Teeter Dance, Tatter Dance, Tatter Dance. Yep, that's that's what it is, not Teeter, Tatter. Um, we got Nick with Photon Geyser, Moon Geyser Beam, Earth Power, and Amnesia. We have Fida, because it's gonna fit us so sweet with Photon Geyser, Discharge, Waterfall, and Moon Blast. We got UnQU with Giga Drain, Shadow Ball, Cotton Guard, and Discharge. We got your girl Maybug, I know it's a male, but whatever, with Energy Ball, Magnitude, Ma uh, Scald, and Hydro Pump, and we got Tube, the Tyranitar Tube, with Ice Punch, Sacred Sword, Bone Rush, and Cross Poison. Um, obviously, it's gonna be a good episode, I already feel it, I got the good feelings about this episode, obviously things could happen real quick, and you will never know, but let's just you know, pretend that everything's gonna be okay because if everything's gonna be okay, that's what we want. Um, because yeah, Nanu is not gonna be an easy opponent, as like I said, we're all level 51 because of Nanu. Um, uh, I'm hoping that we can utilize um, what's a Maybug in a very positive way. I feel like we can, I feel like we have the ability to do such. Um, and I think it all is gonna be really dependent upon whether or not we perform well as a group and i think we can i mean the team is definitely coming together in a lot better um manifestation i gotta get energy drink because i actually have one today um but there's a lot of manifests that this could go really well and i honestly think that we're like i said we're building a team we're making things work we're making things happen we did lose a gen 3 mod and we immediately replaced it with another gen 3 mod and Ludicolo is such a good Pokemon that if I'm going to be fair, it's you can't even go wrong with it. Like, I love it. I hope you guys love it because I want it to be another one of those cool main stages of the team. It does have the download ability, um, so that's going to help it considerably, especially with its mild nature. So it's plus special attack, minus defense. Yeah, it's going to be less bulky, but to be honest, it plus one special attack off out the gate with energy ball and scald two really good stab moves i honestly think we're fine like the only thing i would love is like earth power or something like that, but we're definitely not gonna get that we have to be realistic about our expectations um but yeah the only thing i am really madly worried about is the inabilities uh that our team has to really cope with certain situations um but honestly, oh yeah, we have to fight Gladion. Ha ha ha, I forgot about that. Oh, we have Gladion and dude, doodly. I should have just trained to level 50 then. I completely forgot about Gladion. But you know what? That's actually probably going to help our team out a little bit anyway. To be just like one level over. But we're definitely going to be a couple levels over him. I think he's going to be like level 49. Ooh, we're leading with Pangoro. Let's see. Are you level 49? I would assume like you're around Guzma because Guzma was 47. You're 48. Okay, yeah. So, pretty much as anticipated, you're in that high 40s. Your mate, your ace is gonna be probably level 50, which is really wild, right? Because you see these levels and they're like, whoa, they're they're glaring at this point how high they are. You also know that this is we're heading into the eighth or paradise. We're kind of heading into end game, so you so to speak. And yeah, no, this is like. Mm -mm. This is this is this is scary, and there, there's nothing nowhere nothing else to ooh nothing else to describe it other than yeah we uh we have hit the scary part of this game. We've got two important training battles today, and we're gonna be heading into Aether, uh, which again is nothing too scary, nothing too bad, but um definitely something that we have to be mindful of and pay attention of. Let's go ahead and go into Maybug on this. Typhlosion should raise my special attack if I'm not mistaken. I want to say it definitely has better uh, physical defense, but we'll find out here. <sighs> Download is it attack or special attack? It is attack, darn it. But still, this is the best option that we have anywhere. Hyper Voice, let's go! No fire move, we'll take it. 
I mean, I think it would have used a fire move because that's stab and it would have ultimately done more. So no good fire moves will definitely 100% take that. And yeah, that special attack increase would have been very, very nice, but we didn't get it. Um, but yeah, we're good. We're good. Let's go, Ludicolo. Maybug out here showing us what uh, she's here for, which is for everything. Um, let's see. We're going to go ahead. We're going to see what's next. Um, hoping... Sigilip, ooh. Okay, that's definitely gonna be a swap into Tyranitar Tube. Um, and Ice Punch, I guess, is probably gonna be the best thing we can do. Um, unfortunately, we don't have Rock Stab or Dark Stab. Or at least good Rock or Dark Stab. I don't even think we have it. Um, which is very unfortunate considering our typing. Yeah, we don't have a Rock or, yeah. That's pretty oofies, if you ask me. Like, I would love to have some stab moves, but we don't have any right now, so that sucks. Block, heal block, so we can't heal. That's great. Um, Ice Punch should, though. Oh, it doesn't. Dang. I mean, it doesn't do anything. It won't kill us. There's no way, unless there's a random fighting time move. Bounce. That does nothing. That resists. We're good. We're good. We're good. But anyway, how was your guys' day? Hopefully, you guys had a fantastic one, to say the least. Um, I definitely had a decent day overall um didn't have to work so i definitely am energized and feel great um which definitely helps um i'm saying um a lot i don't like saying um that much but um yeah i woke up way later than normal which is unfortunate but that also happens when you stay up way too late aromatis we have that that's um that's actually really nice to see um Ah, I hate saying um, it's annoying the crap out of me. Uh, I like how I keep saying it. Uh, so, with that being said. Uh, the literal title of this episode is going to literally be called Um, just because of the sheer amount of times I've said it. And of course, Aromatisse has downloaded. But, anyways... Um, yeah, I woke up a lot later than normal because of the simple fact that I went to bed way later than normal, which is completely my fault. Uh, but it's because I'm doing the Jaguars 30-year rebuild, so expect that to come on the channel here mid-August. Dang, that little to no damage. But work has been interesting. I don't really, I don't know where I want to go, what I want to do. Um, school is going to be starting up again here soon, uh, hopefully uh, but I'll be just doing online Green River courses, so it should be a lot easier than uh, the 10-hour day school thing. So a lot of you guys weren't here for that when I was doing school 10 hours a day and trying to maintain YouTube and doing a whole bunch of other things. But yeah, ooh, come on, friends. I swear, every episode something's dying. Uh, this is getting ridiculous literally every episode we've got something else dying i think that was that was definitely my fault because i definitely saw the special or the fence drop and still went with it but ah that's gen one though and that's still not very helpful considering gen one is a generation that even though we have a plethora of mons is oh boy yeah, even though we have a plethora of Pokemon in Generation 1, none of them are really that great. So, yeah, this is not, this is not, like I said, we're in Endgame, so things are going to get snapped real quickly. And it makes it difficult. Uh, especially because literally 90% of our deaths have been to Team freaking Skull people. Because uh, Gladion's technically considered Team Skull. I consider him Team Skull, even though he's got ties with the Aether Foundation, he definitely... Oh, boy. That guy mattered. Well, that's a second Mon down. Oh, crap. This actually... Does not make me feel good at all. Um... Yikes. Yeah, I don't feel good at all if that's that that doesn't make me feel <laughs> any sort of confidence going into another fight with higher level Pokemon. Uh and that's Gen 7. Oof. With me oh, meditate, that's gonna raise your attack. That's fine. Continue doing that. As long as we can ice punch, you're fine. Nope, we get paralyzed. Uh-oh. This may become an issue real quickly. 
Um, so we're going to Magnet Rise, making it so you're immune to ground moves like normal. So it's funny because uh, you're setting up. Okay, so you have Spatial Ren, though. So now you have Spatial Ren, and that's kind of seemingly your best move to hit Pokemon with. Let me just go ahead and heal the Paralysis since I've got eight Paralyzed Heals somehow. I don't remember how, but I, apparently I do. Um, but yeah, this is becoming a train wreck real fast. Uh, because the plus two attack, I don't even know how to really handle that or what to do with it. The dragon rush. Ooh, you have a physical dragon move. That's going to hurt. That actually did close to half. Please kill, please kill. No, you're, de you're too defensive to kill instantaneously. Now, dragon rush on the contrary is only 75% accurate. So if I could play the accuracy game, I should be good. Uh, oh my gosh. Do I not? Oh, there they are. Okay. I was like, do I not have potions? Because that's a problem. <laughs> uh, but yeah, because of that, uh, yikes. Uh, <laughs> I literally just, every time I say, uh, there's going to be, a, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I'm saying uh so much today. I think a lot of it's still because my brain hasn't fully activated, even though I've been up for four hours. But... I also haven't commentated in a minute, and that's what happens when you don't commentate in a long while, is the us become a thing. And... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's happening, but I'm like, I, I think I'm letting it happen. Uh, but I w I'm actually curious how many times I say the word uh just normally as a filler word. Steel type. I'm going to go into Maybug. But you are part dragon, so that's not going to help. My attack's going to be the one that raises, because I, you definitely have better special defense, I would assume. Because you're Dialga. Like, how do you not have better special defense? No, you have better physical defense. Okay. So at plus one, I am going to go ahead and Scald. I don't think it has anything to really kill me. Electrify. What a move. That Doesn't that turn any of my moves into Electro-type attacks? It does. Um, imagine Electrify Volt Absorb. Or Electrify, like, something else. Like, Electrify could actually be used competitively. And that'd be actually very cool. But, yeah. Ugh. I don't like that. Because that'll turn Magnitude into whatever move anyway. So, I might as well just stay in on it and be, like, cool with whatever. Because, I mean, it quad resists any Electro-type attack anyway. So it definitely is a a cool move to utilize. But if it's gonna continue to electrify, I can just chip it down and continue chipping it down. But I just need to burn or something. Can we get it? No. Three Wow! Dude, Scald, the move meant for burning. Has not burned in five scalds. Kinda wild! <laughs> This is literally the move that's meant and talked about as the burning move. Six! Bro! Are we actually going to somehow manage to get all 15 Scalds not to actually burn? That's insane. Like, Scald literally is classified as literally the burning move. Seven! What? I mean, yeah, there's a 70% chance of not burning, but... That's a 30% chance to burn. Holy cannoli. Eight! Really? We went eight skulls without a burn? Actually, now nine, because we're about to kill. How did we go nine skulls without a burn? Nine skulls. Not a single burn. Wow. I am not even going to lie. I am impressed. I am very impressed that many that we went that many scalds without getting a burn. Um, But anyways. We are going to go ahead and go to the island. We got to fight Nanu though. So I, I'm going to say no to the fight with Nanu. And go ahead and talk to uh, the people in the Pokemon Center. Get the other two Pokemon out here. Because I have to decide now. I've got, I've got decisions to make. And I actually have layout changes to do. But. 
I'm gonna have to probably put Mega Tyrant in her and all. Fuck. Is it the best idea? No, thank you. I. Oh, let me get that. Did you see that on the way here? How did I just miss that on the way here? That's crazy. I guess, yeah, no, I was pitted over there. I should not have missed it, because this is the battle with Hao. Um, ooh, I just said it right this time. I didn't call him Hop. I guess I always call Hop Hao and not the other way around. But anyway, so we got to deposit a couple of these Mons. Obviously, the dead ones. With Frisk, Health Item. I really love this addition where I can just take the Health Item from here. The Nine Tails actually didn't do that much. And then Unque you gets to be moved as well. So we got a couple options, a couple open slots here. Um, and we have to think realistically and what's going to be more bene most beneficial for this team. Unfortunately, Nido King will not learn another move, so this moveset's kind of garbage and will always be garbage. Uh, but anyway, we got one. We got options from Gen 1, 4, and seven. So our generation one mon. Nido Queen. It's a terrible move set as well. This is where this gets difficult. I think our Gen 7 mon that I'm gonna go ahead and add. I'm gonna say Joey. Cause that's a normal fighting type, so that's gonna be helpful. So that's that's what we're gonna add there. And that puts us down to two Gen 7 mods. Okay. And we have Generations 1 and 4 open. Is it? Huh. I think we can actually ha go ahead and end up adding Hash Brown. I do like that, actually. Hash Brown continues our Fire, Water, Grass core. Um, yeah, you know what? Yeah, Hash Brown. Hash Brown it is. And on that note, since we, I know this is a shorter episode than normal, but I'm going to go ahead and end it here, and we're going to have an hour of power in the next episode, so, because we're going to get through the entire Aether Foundation in one sitting, just because it's annoying, and you can't go really anywhere else, so, yeah, we're going to go through the entire Aether Foundation, we're going to train up our levels up to that, so, I'm going to go ahead and put Tube in the box, so I feel like we're, next time you see this team, we're going to be all, like, level 55 or something, maybe even higher than that. But yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. We are 20 away from the 1K milestone. Um, and like I said, on, uh, let's see, because the, the, the episodes are Monday, Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday, Friday now? Which is what they were. I think it was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Friday. So, yeah. So, on the next episode on Friday, we'll have an hour of power. But, again, I love you all so much. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Peace.